What's up, guys? Do you guys really want to pay $1,500 for a boosted board? Heck no! Who the heck wants to pay $1,500 for an electric skateboard when I can show you right now how to make the exact same mileage, how to get the exact same and higher speed in this video? That's what I'm going to show you guys. Stay tuned. Subscribe for um, more. Before I show you guys all of the things that you'll need to make this electric longboard, um, I just want to show you guys, I just got my motor in the mail. It is the Torque Boards 5055 outrunner motor it's nice high quality and i would definitely recommend it to you guys to make your electric line all right first things first let's go over all of the parts and all the equipment that you'll need to make this electric longboard so as you can see i've already drawn the whole entire longboard by itself which i've already showed you guys and everything else that you'll need i will draw out and explain so this is the drive wheel that we'll be using i'll be using the back right wheel and so this is the main wheel and what we're going to need to put on that is obviously our hub pulley which is steel and I got mine um, with the ABEC 11 kit and it came with this pulley and the screws so that's what it should look like and obviously after that you're going to need your motor mount which I will make later but that connects to your trucks like so and you can either weld it or bolt it to your trucks so that should be metal also um, and I do not have that yet which I will make afterwards but after that you're going to need your motor and for that I am using the Turnigy SK3 AeroDrive 245 kilovolt motor which I will be getting in a few days so I'll show you guys that once I get it and that's going to come with the motor shaft which you will connect to your drive pulley which I have here it is a 16 tooth pulley that I got off of DIY electric skateboarder builders com and so that is going to go onto that just like that and after that I will be having the hub pulley, which is right here, the motor pulley. And you're obviously going to need something that will connect to them, which is why I have this 12 millimeter wide neoprene belt. It is a 5 millimeter pitch. I also got this off of DIYElectricSkateboarder.com, and that is going to connect to the two pulleys like that. All right, so the motor is going to have three wires coming off of it and those wires are the three wires that go to the electronic speed controller the ESC and the ESC that I got is the Vega Power 100 amp 2 to 4S LiPo meaning you can either use to force lipo or below and it is waterproof and I would definitely recommend this because my motor is only voted for 60 amps but this is 120 so it doesn't get hot or 100 my bad and so these three wires are going to be the three, wi three wires that connect to these three leading off of the ESC which is right here um, 
so as you can see there's more wires than that so this is the waterproof switch and this is the um, s plug that goes to my receiver which I plug in like that if that would focus there we go so that is my ESC which I'll put off to the side for a second and that receiver actually I'll get to that in a second my ESC is what connects to those two and what I just showed you was my receiver coming off of this end and if it'll focus again oh my gosh okay so what comes off of right here is my receiver which goes to my quantum transmitter which I really do like it is very nice actually nice and small it fits in your hand good easy controls and for the price you can't beat it so that is what's going to be corresponding to my um, receiver okay now we have the receiver connected to the ESC which is connected to the motor and the ESC will need um, will have two wires coming from it obviously a positive and a negative wire these wires are going to connect to my batteries and for my batteries I have two Zippy 20C series 5000 milliamp hour high discharge lithium polymer batteries now honestly I would recommend these over any battery they are perfect for uphill riding um, at about 12 percent grade hills probably a max speed of about 22 miles per hour and I will connect these in series and then the positive and negative ends will go to there and there so now I, as you can see I have my two batteries connecting in series like that and that's when you connect the positive and the negative of one battery together and then you hook up the positive and the negative to the ESC now that is all you will need for the electronics and the motor and all of the hardware so what I'm gonna do with that is I'm going to buy a plastic container that I'm going to put this all in and I'm gonna make it look nice and clean and as you can see it'll be waterproof I'm gonna put padding right here padding here to cushion the batteries I'm gonna hold the ESC in there like that as well um, it will make the motor wires go into the box and they'll be connecting right here so that no water can get in and I'll have my little thing that I can pop the top off really nice and easily here so now that I have all of this waterproof we're obviously going to need something to charge the batteries with so what I have for that is the B3 AC which is the current compact charger it is a three cell charger and I know there's a lot of people who say that it's always better to um, charge 
with the you know balance chargers however this is a very safe charger because it will let you know when each cell is done charging on each battery which makes it very safe and effective and after that all you're gonna want is Loctite thread locker to make sure you lock you don't want to lock the bolts up that are holding the pulley in place because you want to be able to move those around but you're going to use it to lock tight the motor screws together you're going to use it to lock tight the um, all the electronics and the motor mount so that's a very big safety feature so it doesn't rattle out and I believe that is all you all need if there's any questions um, in the comments please let me know I'll get back to them um, please like this video you know I'm not done yet and I'll explain more in a second thank you